Hello again and welcome to the Black World. I hope and trust that today you are doing okay. Today our text is taken from Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. That's Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. The record says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the way you have been providing for us, for the way you have been surrounding us, Heavenly Father. I pray in a very special way that this message will resonate with somebody today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today, I want to take our subject from our text. The last part of the text says, The just shall live by faith. The declaration, the just shall live by faith is quoted three times in the New Testament in Romans chapter 1 and verse 7 in Galatians chapter 3 and verse 11 and in Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38 these texts beloved friends cover an aspect of the biblical doctrine of righteousness by faith. If we claim to be proud and self-sufficient, we are headed for destruction. God's divine library contains many interesting narratives of how God's people exercise their faith in God. And we are going to see the just living by faith. We see God providing for his people in the narrative of Pharaoh and his army who wanted to destroy God's people, the Israelites. Three million people, beloved friends, for 40 years were taken care of by God. Their feet did not swell as they walk. Their shoes did not wear out and if God could provide for them for 40 years what makes you think God cannot provide for us in these times of world meltdown crisis the devil seemed to think that he has the power but we serve a God who is all Powerful and of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of his Father. God has done it in the past. He is doing it now and he will do it again for us, beloved friends. We are in a predicted fight, marching onwards, to victory. It was Seymour Sullivan in the old hymn who says, Onward Christian soldier, marching as to war, with the cross of Jesus going on before. Christ, the royal master, leads against the foe, forward into battle, and his banner, we will go. I know you might be saying, Brother Preacher, tell me, Preacher, what are we armed with today? Why we are going to survive this fight? You see, we are armed with the full armor of God. We are armed with the same thing that God has on. We have on the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. We have on the boots assured with the gospel of peace. The Bible says the eyes 
of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their sin. The word is, in these uncertain times of fear and death of destruction, the just shall live by faith. We have a certain provider in uncertain times who always provide for us. The just has lived by their faith and testimonies. They have lived through waters and through floods. They have lived through fire and the blood. They have lived through great sorrow. And if you don't believe me, ask Moses when the Israelites were crossing the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was behind them. The Red Sea, beloved friends, jerked from 76 feet, and the water stood up like jello in a ball, and the Israelites crossed over on dry land. I tell you today, the just shall live by faith. Some through the water, some through the flood and in the night season and all the day long. If you don't believe me, ask Brother Noah through the antediluvian world when the rain began to fall and the fountains of the deep broke loose and the water came down from above on the ground. The old ark began to float in the midst of the flood. When the wicked was dying, the just beloved friend was living through the flood. The just has lived through the fire. I might as well tell you about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They have lived through the fire, beloved friends. They were thrown in the fire and they started a chorus when Jesus joined them with his baritone and told them, listen, it's gonna be okay. They were not only delivered, but they did not even smell like smoke. The just shall live by faith. And so faith will get you in trouble, but faith will bring you out. I think I heard John the Revelator saying, I heard souls crying, how long faithful and true does thou avenge thy blood upon them that dwell on the earth and white robes were given them that they would rest for a season. The just have lived through the blood. They have lived through great sorrow. David had lived through great sorrow when his son Absalom had hardened the hearts of the people and turned their hearts from him. But when David had gotten discouraged and when it looked like he could not get any worse, I heard him in the 55th Psalm saying, Oh, that I have the wings of dove, for then I would fly away somewhere to rest my soul. Would hasten his escape. My soul would take its flight, but the just shall live by faith. The just have lived through great sorrow, they have lived through famine. Remember, beloved friends, when Elisha was in need, when he was drinking water at the brook, and the raven was bringing him bread in the morning and meat in the evening, beloved friends. These days, 
we have so many different storms in our lives. When one is going away, a new storm is coming in. The word is, the just shall live by faith. When the tide gets too sweeping, the just shall live by faith. When the tide gets to clapping its hands, the just shall live by faith. When the cloud gets to hanging low, the just shall live by faith. The just have lived not only through water and floods, fire and sorrow, and famines and storms, but they have lived through even death. Watch this. Ask the psalmist David and he will tell you that is why we have the 23rd Psalm. He said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me thy rod and thy scarf. They comfort me. So let the wind blow because no matter what storm cloud may rock the ship of mine, I tell you today, the just shall live by faith. In the meantime, I'm going to obey like Abraham because you see, the just shall live by faith. Trust like Isaac, serve like Isaiah, stand like Elijah, be bold like Peter, walk like Enoch, flee temptation like Joseph, work like Noah, testify like Paul, suffer like Moses, because you see, the just shall live by faith. And so today, I give you Jesus, who has lived through death for you and for me, all the way to Calvary and up on that cross. He went for you and for me, beloved friends. He asked the psalmist David, and he will tell you that is why we have the 23rd Psalm. He said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy scarf, they comfort me. So let the wind blow, because no matter what storm cloud may rock the ship of mine, I tell you today, the just shall live by faith.